Hey everybody, Mark here aboard the Slipknot Bayliner 245 2006. Um, my wife and I had a Harley Davidson, um, and after everyone keeps trying to kill us, we have decided to sell it and get a, a boat. So we got a pontoon first and try to camp out on it, and that wasn't worth a crap. So we sold it and got this Bayliner. They call it a pocket cruiser. I think it's a little bigger than that. It's nice. Um, what we have done is we went online. Couldn't find any of them. You wouldn't believe there was probably, let's see, we bought this last summer. And there were probably seven for sale in the whole United States um, used these things cost too much to buy brand new you'd have to upgrade the engines and all this other upgrades just to have just to have a really nice one and so I decided to get a used one um, 2006 uh, two owners from what I understand and I bought it from a marina. I did not get it appraised. Uh, did it all myself. And thank goodness, saved that $600. I had to buy a new water heater. I had to get the, um, I have to get a new propeller. I have to get a new bilge pump in the back. I have, I had, to get the um what do you call those things back there at the engine that holds the water out of it? bellows i had to get the bellows replaced um i had to get the pump for the pump toilet replaced i had to get the sink replaced the faucet and just basically because we didn't like it when we updated it uh, this was one of the best ones that I could find on the market I had the air conditioning and the heat uh, that was one of the main issues that you had uh, it had to have an air conditioning and heat period I live in South Carolina and holy crap it gets humid down here um so what we are doing now is we are in the process of, it is now January 23rd. Um, I've gotten everything in. This boat does not come with a generator. So I purchased a generator from Harbor Freight Tools, the 3500 generator. And I'll take you out back real quick to show you what's going on. We have the swim platform in the back here. I will be putting the sink, the, I've already done it last summer, just to make sure everything works. The, the generator will go here, here, in this area. Um, these are tie downs. And the grill will go on top of the generator. I'm building a box to set it in out of uh, PVC. Uh, I think I'm going to get a three quarter I think I'm gonna get a three quarter by a half inch by uh, six PVC's and make me a box for it I could just paint it but I don't want to do that I'm gonna utilize the box as a stand for the grill also because I want to keep the the expansion of the upper deck which is the swim platform it's, I mean it's a three and a half foot swim platform it's, I sit out there and I fish. I mean, you put two chairs out there. It's like another living room. That's another reason why we bought it. It came with that. Um, put the grill out there. Put the generator out there. I am now in the process, if you can tell, removing the mucky fur, which is right here. This is all mucky fur. Right here. And 
it seems like the fiberglass is really smooth here. So all they did, I'll take you over here to this side, all they did was glue it. Was glue it to the fiberglass. It seems to be really smooth. Here's the uh, AC vent. So you put this the must have. That was my must have. Um, I'm taking it one step at a time, and there is no way that I am going to pull everything out. Because you never know, something might happen to me and my wife. I have to sell it. And you're not going to be able to sell this thing when you rip everything out. After I get this headliner, they it comes with this beautiful vinyl. And then they stopped it here. And I feel like they stopped it because they had all these angles. You got it. This, that's where you put your chart maps and stuff and I just it just seems to be like a pain in the butt but it kept falling down they didn't glue it they had this carpet they had this carpet cushion and then they had the vinyl there I'm sure you know for insulation and soundproofing here's an example of what I ripped down um, right there, I'm not ripping any of this down. I've got, I'm going to start here. They've got the carpet and then the monkey fur. But after the monkey fur, there was this vinyl. Let's see what I got here. Nope. There was the vinyl. It's just here. It's just here. And it was all drooping down. It was hitting my head and all and pissing me off. And you know, uh, for all of you who have this problem on the bay liners, um, these screws, let me show you this. These screws here, what are they? Two inches long? Where's my tape? I don't have my tape, but I would say this. I would say that's two inches long. They had this bad boy right here going through this vinyl in to the boat you know of course all I had to do was buy some pretty screws and screw this headliner back up but I didn't know what was under it and you know I'm a first time boat owner so I ripped it down And uh, what it was was monkey fur. It was this, the, the monkey fur was all up on it. And you see the, the carpet padding. So I went to town on it. Um, I'm in the process right now. I wanted to start this from the beginning before I even ripped it down, but I got ahead of myself. You see how I got the wiring taped up get it out of my way this is this is probably one of my favorite things in the world is this boat we uh we took it out last summer spent every weekend on it for two months got it at the end of the summer Put the generator on it AC stunk took me flipping all summer to get the AC to quit stinking I don't know, but it was, I got some peroxide and poured it all over the AC unit and just ran it as much as I could. I've had, the whole time, I, you know, I live on the intercoastal waterway, so I, I haven't taken this out in the ocean yet, but I would go all the way up to, I live in Myrtle Beach, I would go all the way down to Georgetown and then all the way up the Little River and just constantly have the AC blowing with the generator running in the back. Just to see if I could kill any of that stinky smell. It cleared up a little bit. It's still not beautiful. I mean, the boat's old. It's, you know, it's just sat up forever. The previous owner had dogs. I had to throw away the bed that come with it. Of course, I was going to do that anyway. 
It was just dog hair everywhere. It's just nothing against dogs, but it was just dog hair everywhere. Um, so right now I am in the process of making a template for this. And before I made a template, I wanted to start this video and show you guys where I'm at now on this wonderful 2006 Baylor 245. Um, it's such a blast to be able to have a nice relaxing weekend away from everything. Anchor up at the end of the day after you're done cruising around. Anchor up, cook your dinner, grill, put the TV up. I've got two TVs. I've got, um, I put one TV here. Uh, where are we at? I got, I put one TV here for when you're sitting or if you have your bed made up. If you're sitting there and you're chilling out, you can watch TV there. And I have one TV out on top side. And I hang it up. I hang it up there in front of my window. It's got two straps, right? There's two straps right there. I hang it up there. Cut the DVD on. Put the movies on. And we just out all night long watching uh we like to um anchor out at the um buck sport marina and you just see all the boats hauling butt back from the ocean trying to get back before the night falls and they've got a band there you know bands kick in and and everybody's docking up to have some beer and some listen to the band and eat they got a restaurant there we don't really pay to dock up we anchor out because we have all this I think next year we're going to anchor up, I'm going to dock up a little bit just to uh, scam likely. Just got a phone call. Um, just to get out and listen to the band and stuff, get back on shore. But we got to get this prepped for the maiden voyage. It's, I'm calling it the maiden voyage because last year was, I wanted to run it. I wanted to make sure that it floated. I didn't want to bring any of my family out on it until I got it where it needed to be. I mean, it, um, you know, you don't know what you got until you put it in the water. You're not going to find out the first time, you know, when you put it in the water, what's going on. You, you know, the engine isn't going to blow up the first time you put it out there. It's going to blow up the third or fourth time when you're not ready for it. I put this thing out on the I ran it wide open every time I was out there for at least five hours every day. Just wanting to blow the motor up, seeing if I can get it, you know, nothing. So I'm really happy. I'm really happy with the situation I got. Um, I got an appraisal or an estimate to get a 5.7 liter. I got a 5.0 right now, one of the smallest engines that you can get in this boat. Uh, when I've got this thing fully loaded with all the equipment, my wife and me, uh, 60 gallons of gas, 20 gallons of water, and everything, her and me, boy, trying to get this thing up on plane, when you first get it off the dock and you're heading it out there and you're trying to get it on plane, you can forget that. This bad boy does not want to go when it's heavy. Um, you got to put your trim tabs down and you got to have at least you know, a minute of patience because the boat's going to be like this. So I'm not willing to change the engine out until it blows. Um, they froze it. They had to change out all the stuff that froze and cracked. And so, Everything on the boat is on the engine. It's basically, you know, new to used because they had to re they put a light in it and they lost the power and it cracked. So that was a bonus. Getting all the new stuff on the engine. Um, 
so I just wanted to start this video and let you guys know where I'm at. This is where I'm starting first. I'm going to do the carpet below next. Um, I'm going to rip this up. This is just a the flooring here is just stuck down with double sided tape. I'm going with full hardwood around everything. Around the whole side. Pull this up. Put hardwood down there. I'm going with full hardwood. Let's see where I am here. I'm going with full hardwood here. I'm going to put full hardwood all back there. And I'm going to hardwood the steps. And hardwood this. Everything's going to be hardwood. That's my next. But first, I got to get this headliner done. And for those of you who don't feel like going through this, you've got a Bayliner 245, and it's fall, and your headliner's falling, hitting your head right here. It doesn't bother my wife, but it's me. But it's still, you know, it was sagging. And it looked like crap. Get you a flip, get you a screw, and just screw the thing up with a nice trim around it, and just screw it up. Because this is screw I pulled out of this headliner that was going through the fiberglass of the boat holding up the front half of the headliner. So don't don't worry about it. If you don't want to go through this, screw it up. So now I know I've got at least a quarter inch thick that I can screw up into and not worry about anything. So I'm going with solid. I'm not going with fabric. I'm going with solid. I've got my cardboard here to make my template and I'm going to stop video and make my template and then when I make my template I'll start video again and show you how far I've come. So this is for all you Bayliner 245 lovers out here. Keep in touch and uh, watch how we go. I'm pretty sure I'm going to continue this, this video vlog and uh, take you guys to Charleston with us, with us, and take you guys anchoring with us. I'm going to try to hide from the ghost card because they, uh, the ghost coast card, loves to uh, travel up the waterway, and I like to anchor and drink. So we got some spots where we can go off and tie off onto a tree or something. They don't like you to drink when you're anchored. Whatever, right? I can understand it. So I'm, going, I'm not going to anchor. I'm going to dock up to some trees. I don't think I'm going to worry about our gators and snakes. I'm pretty sure they're not going to come around the generator running and all. Anyway. Alright, well, uh, I'll get back to you guys as soon as I get this template up. Appreciate you.